Hi, this is Lee Flaherty. I'm going to go through one of the simple use cases we've got just for toggling components on a form. So here we've got this uh, toggle variable test form and we've got a simple variable on here, one which says show image. And if we check this box here, it sets a variable from zero to one and then one to zero. And we can see that we've got an image component here, a static, which is enabled based on whether this is set. We also have this click button here, and normally you would have a, a button or some kind of an event which either toggles an image and, and shows it, or if it's not an image, it might be a, a flex area coming in or out on the screen. So again, we've got this click to toggle, but it's not actually toggling. However, our, our checkbox is, is working. Now, you wouldn't normally have the checkbox. This is just a visual aid so we can see what's happening. Now, if we use the diagnostics, we can begin to see what's happening here. So in the user preferences, all I've done is I've set my diagnostics to be enabled and on the form I'm interested in the variable value changing. So I'll view the diagnostics, I'll clear the history and then look what happens when I press show image. We see here that the variable show image is changing from 0 to 1 and then from 1 to 0. So quite easy to read that. If I click to toggle here we see again the same thing has changed from 0 to 1. If I clear the log message, click it again. You see it's changing from 1 to 0, but then it's also changing back from 0 to 1. So two things are happening, and it's always ending up back at the 1 state. So I look into my designer and see what's happening. So we'll go to site default scope, and we'll open up our form. Now here we see the static, we see the behavior, and we can see that it's visible when our show image variable is one. So here we see the, the component visibility is set to true when it's one, so quite easy there. What we have is on our toggle button, we have the toggle show image event assigned. So we'll just have a look at that now. Go to our event handlers. And we see what's happening is we've got two actions attached to this event handler. The first action checks the show image variable, and if it's not zero, sets it to zero. The second one checks our show image variable, and if it's not one, it sets it to one. So what we're doing here is our actions are firing one after another. The first one is setting the variable to zero and the second one is always going to set it to one because even if it comes in as one the first event will set it to zero so we've got a small logical problem because we haven't got an if else condition now you can get more complicated with these but it's easier just to use a temporary variable so what we're going to do is we're going to change our set modified action to assign a new show image variable and we'll do the same here So now instead of modifying show image directly, we're using show image to check and we're setting the new show image variable. So what we have to do now is create a new event handler. This is going to be a type set values. And all this is going to do is it's going to set our show image variable from our new show image variable. So the type is a variable value and it's our new new show image so what we've done here is we've used the new show image as a temporary variable checking show image assigning this and now we move it back again so we'll save that indicates that it's saved we can now go back to our runtime close this form close the diagnostics as well and to refresh our changes we'll do an unload all global form objects and then reopen and now our toggle is working as expected it's actually toggling by using that temporary show image variable to store the transitory state thanks for watching for more videos like this check out the mongoose portal there you can find our previous video where we show how to build portal panels in mongoose